You're getting ready to create your video and you're not even sure if you need to write stuff down. Hi, my name is Drew Keller and I'm here to tell you your video will always be better if you create a script. In this episode, I'm not only going to show you how to get started, but I'm going to give you some different examples, templates that you can use for creating your script. So what do I mean by a script? Well, a script can be as simple as writing all your ideas down on sticky notes and taping them next to the camera. Perhaps you've got a presentation that you've worked on and you've got all the bullet points and you're going to use that to stay on track. You may find it helpful to go through and write your script out word for word. The downside is it's going to require a lot of memorization unless you're using it to describe the action a pre-recorded footage, a voiceover. So how do you get started? Well, I'm going to give you some tips for breaking through writer's block in a moment, but first let's talk about the mechanics of script writing. When I write a script, I go through and I first gather everything I know about the topic. I'm going to put it all in one place. I'm going to try to figure out, well, what documents can I refer to? And I write down all of my thoughts. I'm going to note all of my visual ideas. I'm going to go through and I'm going to organize all the parts to create my outline. You'll find there are a lot of different formats that you can use for actually writing your script. You're probably going to end up experimenting to figure out what works best for you. For me, I use a two-column format where I start writing out my script in the right-hand column. Eventually, I'm going to use the left column for notes about the visuals, but for now, I usually keep it blank. I put each paragraph into a separate row, and I try to keep each paragraph a separate and discrete idea. Having each idea in a separate module, well, that allows me to modify and cut down my content. That way, I can easily move the parts around once I get further along in the process. Once I have the dialogue cut down to its essence, I'm going to begin to fill in the visual descriptions in the left-hand side with things like building exteriors and graphics. For many of my videos, I script out every word. Here's an example from a video I made about shooting with small cameras. When shooting with the flip, it's best to remember this mantra, embrace the limitations. You want to zoom? Forget about it. Walk closer to your subject. Zoom with your feet. But don't get too close. The camera's macro function is non-existent. If you're just getting started and you're having a hard time trying to figure out how all these shots fit together, well, this script might just be the ticket because it not only has columns for visual information and dialogue, it also has simple illustrations to help you pre-visualize your story. It's nothing more than simple clip art used to help you think about how you want to frame your shots. Here, I've created a document that I can use as a template with the table for the script already laid out and a gallery of shots that I can use at the bottom of the page. So no matter which format you choose, bullet list, post-it note, illustrated, not illustrated, the process of scripting is going to help you go through and define the point of your story. Heck, it might even help you to figure out that you need a different point of the story. The problem can be getting started, writer's block. So here are a couple of tips to maybe help you get over that hurdle. Number one, give yourself permission to fail. I know that sounds a little harsh, but it has to say that your rough draft isn't going to be perfect. Your final draft may not even be perfect. And it takes some doing just to get started in the process. So give yourself permission to just get started. Nobody's going to be giving you a grade. The second thing is leverage the work that you've already done. Emails that you may have written, presentations you may have given, correspondence, articles, all of these things are going to help you to figure out what the meat and tone of your story needs to be. Three, even if you're ad-libbing, write everything out first. It's going to help you to focus your thoughts and your ideas. Which leads us to the next point, which that is, keep it singularly focused. Don't let it wander all over the place. By keeping it singularly focused, your audience is going to stay with you. And last, keep it short. What's short? Well, that's going to be determined by the work you did before you even started this in figuring out the need for the video and who the audience is. If you know those two things, you're going to have a really clear idea of whether it should be 30 seconds long, 5 minutes, or 20 minutes. You see, there really are no rules to this process, and only you can figure out what's going to work best for you.